observe this question understanding the question is important this is the question from exercise number 13.3 probability chapter problem is based on bayes theorem you observe what they given in answering a question on a multiple choice test multiple choice test means you know in that 1 2 3 4 options will be there you need to choose which one is the right option okay a student either knows the answer or guesses <laughs> a student either knows the answer or guesses generally most of the students they'll do like this in object to test either they knows the answer if they don't know the answer then they'll guess the answer okay it is a multiple choice uh, test and student either knows the answer or guesses the answer okay 3 by 4 is the probability that he knows the answer 3 by 4 is the probability that he knows the answer that means probability that he knows the answer is good 3 by 4 and 1 by 4 is the probability that he guesses okay this is the given data i'll tell you while solving the problem how we use this given data assuming that a student who guesses at the answer will be correct with probability 1 by 4 you keep this in your mind while solving the problem i'll i'll come to this point again this is most important what is the probability that student knows the answer what is the probability that student knows the answer this is what we need to calculate okay for that there'll be given data will be there what is the given data see what i am explaining now this is most important given that he answered it correctly see uh, this is the most important thing this is the most important thing from this only we will identify exactly what they are asking what are the things to be taken if you observe the last two problems second problem third problem in Bayes theorem problem we need to identify e i's e1 e2 e3 what are these e n events and what is a a is the given event and what is to be calculated like p of e k by a what is to be calculated this is important so uh, what is e i's what is a what is to be calculated can be understood from these steps only this last step right here what we need to calculate actually we need to calculate probability of e k by a right we need to calculate probability of e k by a here what is the probability of uh, a by b look here what is the meaning of this probability of a by b is what we learn this in conditional probability it means that probability of happening of event a given that b is already occurred okay probability of e k by a means what probability of happening of this event given that a has already occurred so in this question you see here given that he answered it correctly he answered it correctly is there na that is a a is the given event and what is to be calculated that is e i look here what they are asking what is the probability that student knows the answer right here from this only we can identify what are e i's for example you see here let e1 what is e1 what is e2 what is e3 in case if it is present this can be understood after reading the question what is the probability that student knows the answer here when it comes to the question here student either knows the answer or guesses see how patience to understand these questions uh, understanding the question definitely takes time so once you understand the question solution is very easy for this understanding the question only takes the time in this question student either knows the answer or he guesses the answer i'll suppose that even is the event that student knows the answer i'll write that even is the event that student knows the answer okay uh, e2 is the event that what is the other either student knows the answer or he guesses the answer so e2 is the event that student guesses the answer so i identified what is e1 what is e2 after reading this line only now you need to identify what is a what is a the given data in the question is a as we are this is the third problem in this exercise by this time you can understand what i am trying to explain so what is a given data what is given data 
he answered it correctly correctly that means student answered it correctly i'll write that student answered it correctly now what is to be calculated look here probability that student knows the answer we need to calculate it probability that student knows the answer that means e1 probability of e1 given that a given that a student has already occurred that means what is to be calculated here you need to calculate probability of e1 by a i hope you are understanding with this uh, major part of the things are over rest of all are very easy only only the thing is you need to understand till here what is happened okay so now what i need to calculate now p of ek by uh, p of e1 by a what is the formula for p of e1 by a p of e1 by a formula is probability of e1 into probability of a by e1 whole divided by probability of e1 into probability of a by e1 plus total two events are there now in this question probability of e2 into probability of a by e2 now you need to calculate what is probability of e1 what is probability of e2 what is probability of a by e1 what is probability of a by e2 total four things are there these things you need to calculate from the question probability of e1 what is probability of e1 probability that see here what is e1 e1 is the event that student knows the answer you look at the question 3 by 4 is the probability that student he knows means student student knows the answer what is the probability that student knows the answer means 3 by 4 that is already given in the question so even me even is what even is the event that student knows the answer what is the probability of even that is given in the question what is probability of even that is 3 by 4 so probability of even is 3 by 4 okay now i'll calculate probability of e2 also what is probability of e2 probability of e2 e2 is student guesses the answer in the question they given you observe the one and 1 by 4 be the probability that he guesses the answer so probability of e2 also given in the question what is probability of e2 probability of e2 is given as 1 by 4 now you need to calculate probability of a by e1 probability of a by e2 okay probability of a by e1 for this you need to have that conditional probability knowledge first exercise knowledge what is the meaning of this probability of happening of a given that e1 is already occurred okay so here a uh, little bit of logical things we need to use instead of formula based method what it mean probability of a what is a probability that student answered it correctly listen carefully these are logical things if you focus then only you can understand probability that student answered it correctly what you know you know that student knows the answer you know that student knows the answer what is the meaning of this probability of a we know that even is already occurred what is even we know that student knows the answer when student knows the answer what is the probability that he will answer it correctly right what is the probability that student answered it correctly suppose you are the student suppose you are the student you know the answer you already know the answer right you will answer it correctly or wantedly you will write uh, uh, you will choose wrong option as a student your intention is always trying to answer the things correctly right so when you know the answer what is the probability that you will answer it correctly is simple thing it is a sure event when you know the answer you will answer it correctly 100% correct if you already know the answer you will answer it correctly correct or not it's a sure event what is the probability of sure event probability of sure event is 1 probability of impossible event is what probability of impossible event is 0 here what what they are asking what is the probability that student answer it correctly we know that student knows the answer when student knows the answer he 100% he will write the correct answer only i hope you understand this now probability of a by e2 we need to calculate this okay what is probability of a by e2 <clears throat> student guesses the answer e2 means what e2 is the event that student guesses the answer 
Student guessed the answer. What is the probability that it is correct? It is also there in the question only. Look here. Uh, assuming that a student who guesses at the answer will be correct with the probability 1 by 4. They given this data in the question. Assuming that student who guesses at the answer will be correct with probability 1 by 4. When student guesses the answer, what is the probability that it is correct? It is 1 by 4. That is given in the question. This 1 by 4, this 1 by 4 different. You can see the question here. Look here. This is 1 by 4. Here another 1 by 4 is there. So this is probability of A by E2 is 1 by 4. Now what I will do? These things. Probability of E1 probability of e2, probability of a by e1, probability of a by e2, I will substitute in this. Substitute what you will get, probability of e1 that is 3 by 4 into, probability of a by e1 that is 1 whole divided by, probability of e1 3 by 4 into, probability of a by e1 that is 1 plus, probability of e2 that is 1 by 4 into, probability of a by e2, probability of a by e2 is 1 by 4. Okay. We will simplify this. Let us see what you will get. Numerator it is 3 by 4. In the denominator what you will get 3 by 4 plus 1 by 16. You just simplify the denominator part. 3 by 4 divided by what is LCM? LCM is 16. What you will get 4 3 are 12. 12 plus 1. 4 in this 4 times. Right. So what you will get 3 by 1 divided by 13 by 4. Write the reciprocal of this. What you will get? 3 by 1 into 4 by 13. So, 4 3s are 12. 12 by 13. So, what you calculated? Probability of E1 by A. Probability of E1 by A. What is this? Probability of E1 by A meaning is what? Probability of E1. What is E1? Student knows the answer. What is even? Look here. What is even? Student knows the answer. Probability that student knows the <coughs> probability that student knows the answer given that he answered it correctly is 12 by 13. See what they are asking in the question. What is the probability that student knows the answer given that he answered it correctly? So we calculated this. We got the answer as 12 by 13. I hope you understand this solution.